Hey, good Friday, everyone. It's Kim Quady with uh, KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm live here in Lincoln, Nebraska to show you some fun cards that I made in a class this week with the Happy Tales bundle. Well, so far outside, it's a sunny day. We're hoping to hit like the mid-30s. But like most of the country, we're expecting some rain and freezing rain and then some more snow. Uh, most of us are quite over winter, but it does give us a really good opportunity to stay inside and stamp. So this last week, I had two nights of a different class using the Happy Tales bundle. And before I clean up my mess, I wanted to show you a few of the cards that we made and a couple of the quick techniques that we used. First of all, it was using the Happy Tales stamp set along with the uh, Dog Builder Punch. Get those as a bundle and it's $31.50. You save 10% when you buy them from in a bundle from Stampin' Up's Occasions catalog. When this catalog first came out I was so excited that was the first set I wanted to buy because even though I don't have a dog right now I used to have a basset hound named Max a 50 pounder who thought that he was a lap dog and he was just the most awesome animal so I really do love to make um, dog cards for people and it during the craft shows we've done a, many have asked us about dog sympathy cards so I always make sure do have a dog sympathy card on hand because um, with our rubber stamping products, we can make some really fun and unique cards without um, having to go eek buy them in a store. That would be unspeakable. So anyway, we're going to be using the Happy Tales uh, bundle, and I'll show you a few techniques this morning. Uh, and if you can't catch me live, watch the replay on my Facebook page, Kim Quady Plays With Paper. Uh, so um, in class, so we had two nights of class, Tuesday and Thursday. I like to give each participant a treat packet. So the participants in the class this week received this cute little um, treat using Stampin' Up! Sweets treats. Uh, containers. They do come undecorated. You get 10 of them for $8.50, so they're 85 cents a piece, and you can decorate them any way you like, and you know what's inside. Dog treats. Usually I get chocolate, but dogs can't have chocolate, so this time the, the owners came and got treats for their dogs. And now what the paper that I used to decorate this sweet cup with is from Stampin' Up's Botanical Butterflies Designer Series paper. And you do know that, um, or even if you don't, you do now, it's Stampin' Up's Celebration, one of our biggest sales of the year. It goes through March 31st, and for every $50 or $100 purchase, you receive your choice of a free item from the Celebration brochure. Um, and it could be anything from our exclusive stamp sets, they're awesome, to the designer series paper, embossing folders, and more. So this particular paper, it does have butterflies on it, but on the other side are some really awesome designs including that, that hound's tooth design that you see on my treat cup. So we have, there's some um, butterflies, black butterflies, other butterflies, um, some black, and then um, on one side, this is a, a fun color, and then there are stripes on the other. So this is some really awesome paper that's kind of neutral or masculine on one side and butterflyish on the other. Again, free with a $50 purchase um, during celebration. So that might be, might be one of your choices. So that's um, how I put together that, that little treat packet. One thing you should know is that uh, if you 
ordered the sweet cups from me and I'm thinking this template is available online but Stampin' Up! has developed a sweet cup sleeve template so what you need to do is print one of these off of your computer and I could send you a PDF um, free uh, if you're interested in it you place you cut out this little piece then you place this on top of your designer series paper trace it cut it out and then uh, use a little bit of tear and tape, wrap it around, and um, just hook it right here and then decorate as you like and fill with whatever you want. All right, I'm going to um, turn the camera down so that I can show you some of the cards and the techniques that we did this week. So if you leave any comments, I won't be able to see them in, in this uh, um, setup that I have right now. But if you leave some comments, I will, um, I will go through after this and, and let you and answer them for you. So... Um, Okay. One of the first cards that we made last night was this cute little Dalmatian. Again, look at that uh, designer series paper. The dots is another of the designs that you can find in that botanical butterflies designer series paper. Hi Pat, thanks for joining me today. Uh, you, I know you have a I know you have a dog, so this is a class that you might um, you might enjoy. Uh, the sentiment "Keep calm and wag on." Some of the other sentiments in that Happy Tales stamp set: "Friends forever." So sorry for your loss. A best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. Keep calm and wag on, and just for you. And uh, roof roof. Hi Tammy, thanks for joining me. We're talking about the class I had with the Happy Tales stamp set and the coordinating dog builder punch. So this is one very easy card that we, we made last night. Um, we did not make this card last night, but when you start to get pieces of paper on the table and your mind starts going, what can I make, what can I make? So here's another dog sympathy card that I made. Uh, I had an extra old olive stitch shape circle, so I used that along with our Wood Textures Designer Series paper for uh, a dog sympathy card. Keeping in the line of the Wood Textures Designer Series paper, I had just a little piece left over, so I layered it on a piece of crumb, crumb cake cardstock with that Stampin' Up's crackle background. And all I had to do was punch out the Black Lab puppy and put him on there. Um, so sorry for your loss. So I have a dog sympathy card all ready to go for, um, for unfortunately, when I need that. Um, it's a really sad thing when someone loses loses someone they love, a part of their family. This is a card we did make last night. Uh, some of the features of that, um, this is the Stampin' Up's Wood Textures Designer Series paper. Um, and I know you can't feel that from here, but I did run that through the Subtles Embossing Folder, and it gives it, um, not only does it look wood texture, it feels wood texture. And I used the two-step stamping um, doghouse. Now this card that we made last night was inspired by um, this fun card here made by Monica Davis. I received, I received this swap card at a Michigan uh, Stampin' Up! Leaders event a couple of weeks ago and I really thought it was super cute. So I fashioned my card a little bit like hers. Hers has uh, another fun um, element in there. So that's, that's that one. Uh, another card we did make last night, uh, and I'm going to credit uh, Carolyn Sander for this. Um, it's just a fun, really quick and easy card. So that's using Smoky Slate. This is Crushed Curry. And we have a Crumb Cake. And... Crushed Curry. So another very easy, simple, so sorry for your loss, dog's sympathy card. On the, on, um, on these others, I, 
I know it's backward uh, print, but I'll read it to you. It says, know that today a friend is thinking of you. And uh, I put a couple of those in the mail today. My aunt who um, suffers from kidney issues, she's snowed in in Minnesota, but she has a black lab. And I just thought that would be a fun card for her. Um, that sentiment and if others are a part of the part of my story stamp set. And you heard me mention celebration going on through March 31st. This is one of the free stamp sets you can earn with a $50 purchase before tax and shipping. Some of the other sentiments, let's get together and giggle. Uh, the world needs more people like you. I'm so glad you are part of my story. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. You're my chosen family. So that is a really awesome, awesome stamp set uh, for just those sentiments. I'll quickly show you how this card went together. I used Stampin' Up's uh, Very Vanilla Note Cards and Envelopes, and these are a real bargain. For $6.50, you get 20 pre-cut and scored note cards with envelopes. So cards can come together real easily. So I took a piece of just Whisper White. Uh, no, that's not Whisper White. This is very vanilla cardstock to the width of um, to the width of my um, card. And I'm going to take the punch and push it all the way in. I'm going to make sure that it's even on both sides. I'm not um, I'm not too crazy picky about whether it's even. Punch it out and then you also have a punch out dog for later. So I've just layered the dog right there. I'm going to use crumb cake and open my crumb cake and use one of Stampin' Up's sponges and I can just sponge away. Um, I'm just to use a circular motion and make my I can make my puppy. So I've made a stencil essentially with that and I can make the dog face either way. I could turn the card another way and make um, make the dogs face each other but I'm just going to gently sponge and think about all the Stampin' Up! colors we have and all the different colors you could make your dog. If, if you want to go crazy you could be purple with our Highland Heather or gorgeous grape um, but so we just sponge them until you have the darkness. If you wanted to include the heart, you could do so. Um, set that aside. And when I remove that, voila, I have um, a dog. And then I can put a sentiment up here. I could put a sentiment down here. I could put the sentiment across. But I just thought that was a really fun, quick and easy way that you could make a bunch of cards in a short period of time that you could just send out to those people um, who who need uh, who need a little pick me up, especially with the dogs. Uh, so I'm going to set that one aside. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I see um, that Linda has joined us, and I Sarah Mueller. So thanks for for joining me. Now, the other card we made last night was this just for you, and you'll notice in this card that the the dogs um, are facing each other, but the stamp set, the dog only faces one way. And so there's a really, um, a really fun technique using Stampin' Up! Staparatus that will help us achieve that. And it's called mirror stamping. And I will credit um, Helen Reed for a video I saw on how to accomplish that mirror stamping. So I'm gonna slide my Staparatus in here and show you um, what how I accomplish that with, um, I don't tip things over here. So I have, um, my dog is all mounted on, on my plate. I took some time to position him where I thought I wanted him on my sheet and you could move him anywhere you want, but I'm going to start out not using my, my whisper white sheet of paper is measuring four by two and three quarters. Um, so I'm just going to Oh, and one thing I really do like to use a stamp set underneath that hinge there just to give me some leverage. And I'm using uh, Stampin' Up's Memento ink, and I'm going to ink up the dog. You can see there, and just flip it over and stamp on Stampin' Up's um, silicone craft sheet. 
Because this is a photopolymer, a see completely see-through stamp, I am using the Stamparatus, the black mat that comes with your Stamparatus, and then Stampin' Up! silicone mat. And I'll ink him up one more time. And the, what the wonderful part about uh, this stamp positioning tool is that that dog is going to go in exactly the same place that I had placed him before. All right. So now to get the dog image on there, I'm just going to uh, stick my uh, paper in the corner. Um, and I, I don't have to apply the ink, but I'm going to uh, apply the ink um, and then I'll show you what the benefit of that is. And I'm just going to stamp that and press down evenly and firmly. And then you'll notice that I have the dog on both sides. So when I punch him out, and I'm not going to because I want to show you the rest of my card, I would have the dog image on both sides and then you could decide which, which side of the dog you wanted to use. All right, so we've got the one dog facing um, to my left. So we're going to now add the other dog. I'm going to just slip that in the corner and put my magnet on. And those magnets are terrifically strong. So I usually just use one. I find that that's enough. And then I'm just going to ink up my dog with my Memento ink. Flip it over and press down evenly and firmly. And I have an image of two dogs facing each other that I can now put on to my card. Very, very fun. And so think about, you could use this for the roosters that are part of the celebration. You could use it for the, the, the kitties. Um, other people use it for the reflective technique. Say that you want some trees to reflect into the water. You could use this same technique using Stampin' Up's um, silicone mat. Just to give you some measurements, this uh, four by two and three quarters Whisper White Sheet is layered onto a pineapple punch that's measuring four by three. Then I took a piece of about 16 inches of white baker's twine and wrapped it around and tied a bow. I layered that onto the best route piece of designer series paper measuring five and a quarter by four and then layered that onto a gray uh, granite base and I have a simple card that I can just slip in the mail today for someone who I want to know that I'm thinking of them. That little, that's a blueberry bushel heart and that comes from just this little heart right here in Stampin' Up's punch. So that's a, a nice little feature to have for that, that punch as well. So I just wanted to quick show you that fun technique. Let me know if you have any questions about, um, about the mirror stamping um, uh, technique. And, and Sarah, I just, I just popped up. Sarah's asking, will this technique use uh, using a, a rubber stamp. Yes, it will work using Stampin' Up's red rubber stamps. Just you, It won't work with the wood-mounted ones, but the difference would be that we would just pull out the mat. We would, not, um, we would not use the black mat, and we would be able to then use the Stamparatus easily with that. So it could be used with these stamps as well. Hi, Vicki from Ohio. Thanks for joining me. So um, just a couple of quick things, just a reminder, it is celebration. So if there's something uh, in that catalog you're looking for, uh, please be sure to get it now. There are some things that are really um, going quickly. Yes, Marty, watch the replay and let me know if you have any questions. I do also want to mention that in addition to um, getting some free stamp sets during celebration, if you have a really long wish list, like I always do, now is a really good time to buy Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. For $175, you can choose, no, ah, that's way backwards, for $99, you can choose $175 of any Stampin' Up! product, So, and it's all shipped free along with them, um, some extra catalogs that you can use to get started. 
Um, for $129, you would get this awesome Stampin' Ups exclusive craft and carry tote. Um, for one, so you get the for $129, the craft and carry tote. Uh, and $175 worth of any product. So uh, it's a great time to uh, to look at Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. And then after that, you get a 20% discount on all of your purchases. I hope you enjoyed my video today on the dog, um, the Happy Tales bundle with the stamp set and the coordinating punch and the samples I showed and the mirror stamping technique. Uh, this will be available on www.kimplayswithpaper.com and my Facebook page. So thanks for joining me today and I'll try to be back next Friday. Happy Friday. Hey, good Friday everyone. It's Kim Quady with uh, KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm live here in Lincoln, Nebraska to show you some fun cards that I made in a class this week with the Happy Tales bundle. Well, so far outside, it's a sunny day. We're hoping to hit like the mid 30s, but like most of the country, we're expecting some rain and freezing rain and then some more snow. Uh, most of us are quite over winter, but it does give us a really good opportunity to stay inside and stamp. So this last week I had two nights of a different class using the Happy Tales bundle. And before I clean up my mess, I wanted to show you a few of the cards that we made and a couple of the quick techniques that we used. First of all, it was using the Happy Tales stamp set along with the uh, Dog Builder Punch. Get those as a bundle and it's $31.50. You save 10% when you buy them from in a bundle from Stampin' Up's Occasions catalog. When this catalog first came out, I was so excited. That was the first set I wanted to buy because even though I don't have a dog right now, I used to have a basset hound named Max, a 50 pounder, who thought that he was a lap dog and he was just the most awesome animal. So I really do love to make um, dog cards for people. And it, during the craft shows we've done, a, many have asked us about dog sympathy cards. So I always make sure to have a dog sympathy card on hand because um, with our rubber stamping products, we can make some really fun and unique cards without um, having to go eek buy them in a store. That would be unspeakable. So anyway, we're going to be using the Happy Tales uh, bundle, and I'll show you a few techniques this morning. Uh, and if you can't catch me live, watch the replay on my Facebook page, Kim Quady Plays With Paper. Uh, so um, in class, so we had two nights of class, Tuesday and Thursday. I like to give each participant a treat packet. So the participants in the class this week received this cute little um, treat using Stampin' Up! Sweets treats. Uh, containers. They do come undecorated. You get 10 of them for $8.50, so they're 85 cents a piece, and you can decorate them any way you like, and you know what's inside. Dog treats. Usually I get chocolate, but dogs can't have chocolate, so this time the, the owners came and got treats for their dogs. And now what the paper that I used to decorate this sweet cup with is from Stampin' Up's Botanical Butterflies Designer Series paper. And you do know that, um, or even if you don't, you do now, it's Stampin' Up's Celebration, one of our biggest sales of the year. It goes through March 31st, and for every $50 or $100 purchase, you receive your choice of a free item from the Celebration brochure. Um, and it could be anything from our exclusive stamp sets, they're awesome, to the designer series paper, embossing folders, and more. So this particular paper, it does have butterflies on it, 
But on the other side are some really awesome designs, including that, that hound's tooth design that you see on my treat cup. So we have, there's some um, butterflies, black butterflies, other butterflies, um, some black, and then um, on one side, this is a, a fun color, and then there are stripes on the other. So this is some really awesome paper that's kind of neutral or masculine on the one side and butterflyish on the other. Again, free with a $50 purchase um, during celebration. So that might be, might be one of your choices. So that's um, how I put together that, that little treat packet. One thing you should know is that uh, if you ordered the sweet cups from me, and I'm thinking this template is available online, but Stampin' Up! has developed a sweet cup sleeve template. So what you need to do is print one of these off of your computer, and I could send you a PDF um, free uh, if you're interested in it. You place, you cut out this little piece, then you place this on top of your designer series paper, trace it, cut it out, and then uh, use a little bit of tear and tape, wrap it around, and um, just hook it right here, and then decorate as you like, and fill with whatever you want. All right, I'm going to um, turn the camera down so that I can show you some of the cards and the techniques that we did this week. So if you leave any comments, I won't be able to see them in, in this uh, um, setup that I have right now. But if you leave some comments, I will, um, I will go through after this and, and let you and answer them for you. So... Um, Okay. One of the first cards that we made last night was this cute little Dalmatian. Again, look at that uh, designer series paper. The dots is another of the designs that you can find in that botanical butterflies designer series paper. Hi, Pat. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, you, I know you have a I know you have a dog, so this is a class that you might um, you might enjoy. Uh, the sentiment "Keep calm and wag on." Some of the other sentiments in that Happy Tales stamp set: "Friends forever." So sorry for your loss. A best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. Keep calm and wag on, and just for you. And uh, roof roof. Hi, Tammy. Thanks for joining me. We're talking about the class I had with the Happy Tales stamp set and the coordinating dog builder punch. So this is one very easy card that we, we made last night. Um, we did not make this card last night, but when you start to get pieces of paper on the table and your mind starts going, what can I make? What can I make? So here's another dog sympathy card that I made. Uh, I had an extra old olive stitch shape circle. So I used that along with our wood textures designer series paper for uh, a dog sympathy card. Keeping in the line of the wood textures designer series paper, I had just a little piece left over, so I layered it on a piece of crumb, crumb cake cardstock with that Stampin' Up's crackle background. And all I had to do was punch out the Black Lab puppy and put him on there. Um, so sorry for your loss. So I have a dog sympathy card all ready to go for, um, for unfortunately, when I need that. Um, it's a really sad thing when someone loses loses someone they love, a part of their family. This is a card we did make last night. Uh, some of the features of that, um, this is the Stampin' Up's Wood Textures Designer Series paper. Um, and I know you can't feel that from here, but I did run that through the Subtles Embossing Folder, and it gives it, um, not only does it look wood texture, it feels wood texture. And I used the two-step stamping um, doghouse. Now this card that we made last night was inspired by um, this fun card here made by Monica Davis. I received, I received this swap card 
at a Michigan uh, Stampin' Up! Leaders event a couple of weeks ago, and I really thought it was super cute. So I fashioned my card a little bit like hers. Hers has uh, another fun um, element in there. So that's, that's that one. Uh, another card we did make last night, uh, and I'm going to credit uh, Carolyn Sander for this. Um, it's just a fun, really quick and easy card. So that's using Smoky Slate. This is Crushed Curry. And we have a Crumb Cake. And... Crushed curry. So another very easy, simple, so sorry for your lost dog's sympathy card. On the, on um, on these others, I I know it's backward uh, print, but I'll read it to you. It says, "Know that today a friend is thinking of you." And uh, I put a couple of those in the mail today. My aunt who. Um, suffers from kidney issues. She's snowed in in Minnesota, but she has a black lab, and I just thought that would be a fun card for her. Um, that sentiment and if others are a part of the part of my story stamp set. And you heard me mention celebration going on through March 31st. This is one of the free stamp sets you can earn with a $50 purchase before tax and shipping. Some of the other sentiments, let's get together and giggle. Uh, the world needs more people like you. I'm so glad you are part of my story. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. You're my chosen family. So that is a really awesome, awesome stamp set uh, for just those sentiments. I'll quickly show you how this card went together. I used Stampin' Up's uh, Very Vanilla Note Cards and Envelopes, and these are a real bargain. For $6.50, you get 20 pre-cut and scored note cards with envelopes. So cards can come together real easily. So I took a piece of just Whisper White. Uh, no, that's not Whisper White. This is very vanilla cardstock to the width of um, to the width of my um, card. And I'm going to take the punch and push it all the way in. I'm going to make sure that it's even on both sides. I'm not, um, I'm not too picky about whether it's even. Punch it out, and then you also have a punch out dog for later. So I just layer the dog right there. I'm going to use crumb cake and open my crumb cake and use one of Stampin' Up's sponges, and I can just sponge away. Um, I'm going to use a circular motion and make my, I can make my puppy. So I've made a stencil essentially with that. And I can make the dog face either way. I could turn the card another way and make, um, make the dogs face each other. But I'm just going to gently sponge and think about all the Stampin' Up! colors we have and all the different colors you could make your dog. If, if you want to go crazy, you could be purple with our Highland Heather or gorgeous grape. Um, but, so we just sponge them until you have the darkness. If you wanted to include the heart, you could do so. Um, set that aside. And when I remove that, voila, I have um, a dog. And then I can put a sentiment up here. I could put a sentiment down here. I could put the sentiment across. But I just thought that was a really fun, quick and easy way that you could make a bunch of cards in a short period of time that you could just send out to those people um, who who need uh, who need a little pick me up, especially with the dogs. Uh, so I'm going to set that one aside. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I see um, that Linda has joined us, and I Sarah Mueller. So thanks for for joining me. Now, the other card we made last night was this just for you. And you'll notice in this card that the the dogs um, are facing each other, but the stamp set, the dog only faces one way. And so there's a really, um, a really fun technique using Stampin' Up! Staparatus that will help us achieve that. And it's called mirror stamping. And I will credit um, Helen Reed for a video I saw on how to accomplish that mirror stamping. So I'm going to slide my Stamparatus in here and show you um, what 
how I accomplish that with, um, I don't tip things over here. So I have, um, my dog is all mounted on, on my plate. I took some time to position him where I thought I wanted him on my sheet. And you could move him anywhere you want. But I'm going to start out not using my, my Whisper White sheet of paper is measuring four by two and three quarters. Um, so I'm just going to, oh, and one thing I really do like to use a stamp set underneath that hinge there just to give me some leverage. And I'm using uh, Stampin' Up's Memento ink, and I'm going to ink up the dog. You can see there, and just flip it over and stamp on Stampin' Up's um, silicone craft sheet. Because this is a photopolymer, a see completely see-through stamp, I am using the Stamparatus, the black mat that comes with your Stamparatus, and then Stampin' Up's silicone mat. And I'll ink him up one more time. And the, what the wonderful part about uh, this stamp positioning tool is that that dog is going to go in exactly the same place that I had placed him before. All right. So now to get the dog image on there, I'm just going to uh, stick my uh, paper in the corner. Um, and I, I don't have to apply the ink, but I'm going to uh, apply the ink. Um, and then I'll show you what the benefit of that is. And I'm just going to stamp that and press down evenly and firmly. And then you'll notice that I have the dog on both sides. So when I punch him out, and I'm not going to because I want to show you the rest of my card, I would have the dog image on both sides and then you could decide which, which side of the dog you wanted to use. All right, so we've got the one dog facing um, to my left, so we're going to now add the other dog. I'm going to just slip that in the corner and put my magnet on, and those magnets are terrifically strong, so I usually just use one. I find that that's enough. And then I'm just going to ink up my dog with my Memento ink. Flip it over and press down evenly and firmly. And I have an image of two dogs facing each other that I can now put on to my card. Very, very fun. And so think about, you could use this for the roosters that are part of the celebration. You could use it for the, the, the kitties. Um, other people use it for the reflective technique. Say that you want some trees to reflect into the water. You could use this same technique using Stampin' Up's um, silicone mat. Just to give you some measurements, this uh, four by two and three quarters whisper white sheet is layered onto a pineapple punch that's measuring four by three. Then I took a piece of about 16 inches of white baker's twine and wrapped it around and tied a bow. I layered that onto the best route piece of designer series paper measuring five and a quarter by four and then layered that onto a gray uh, granite base and I have a simple card that I can just slip in the mail today for someone who I want to know that I'm thinking of them. That little, that's a blueberry bushel heart and that comes from just this little heart right here in Stampin' Up's punch. So that's a, a nice little feature to have for that, that punch as well. So I just wanted to quick show you that fun technique. Let me know if you have any questions about, um, about the mirror stamping um, uh, technique. And, and Sarah, I just, I just popped up. Sarah's asking, will this technique use uh, using a, a rubber stamp? Yes, it will work using Stampin' Up's red rubber stamps just you it won't work with the wood mounted ones but the difference would be that we would just pull out the mat we would not um we would not use the black mat and we would be able to then use the stamparatus easily with that so it could be used with these stamps as well hi vicky from ohio thanks for joining me 
So um, just a couple of quick things. Just a reminder, it is celebration. So if there's something um, in that catalog you're looking for, uh, please be sure to get it now. There are some things that are really um, going quickly. Yes, Marty, watch the replay and let me know if you have any questions. I do also want to mention that in addition to um, getting some free stamp sets during celebration, if you have a really long wish list, like I always do, now is a really good time to buy Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. For $175, you can choose, no, ah, that's way backwards, for $99, you can choose $175 of any Stampin' Up! product, So, and it's all shipped free along with them um, some extra catalogs that you can use to get started. Um, for $129, you would get this awesome Stampin' Up's exclusive craft and carry tote. Um, for one, so you get the for $129, the craft and carry tote uh, and $175 worth of any product. So uh, it's a great time to uh, to look at Stampin' Up! Starter Kit, and then after that, you get a 20% discount on all of your purchases. I hope you enjoyed my video today on the dog, um, the Happy Tails bundle with the stamp set and the coordinating punch and the samples I showed and the mirror stamping technique. Uh, this will be available on www.kimplayswithpaper.com and my Facebook page. So thanks for joining me today and I'll try to be back next Friday. Happy Friday. Hello crafters and stampers. Thanks for joining me today. This is Kim Quady with uh, KimPlaysWithPaper.com. What we're going to be doing today is showing you some swaps. I just recently returned from Stampin' Up's incentive trip to Alaska. Woohoo! It was my very first incentive trip and my very first cruise um, and my very first trip to Alaska, so it was really exciting. Uh, Stampin' Up really, really spoiled us and it was a ton of fun. So if you ever get an opportunity to do that or if you're striving for the, the next trip, good luck. Um, the next trip is Greece, and then after that will be Maui. So um, one of the fun things we did do is we I made 26 cards, all of the same design. Um, remind me to show you that before we end tonight. But I made 26 cards, and I got 25 different cards back from demonstrators from all over the world. So tonight I'm going to show you a few of those cards, and then I will show you some of the new product we received while we were on the cruise. So that might um, entice you to be really curious about ordering from the holiday catalog come September 5th. All right, so let's get started. The first card is a thank you card from um, Dina Rico of the Creativity Cave. She used the thank you thinlets and the stamp set, a big thank you. Love the colors in that card. The thinlets are a lot of fun with that. This next card comes from Patty Chanel and this is the seasonal wreath embossing folder and you can see she's done some sponging of some ink and it looks like there's also some fun um, uh, wink of Stella on that as well. The stamp set's another wonderful year and it has all kinds of awesome uh, seasonal sayings in that stamp set. So that's from Patty Chanel. The following on that theme is another seasonal wreath card. And now look at that. I'm going to show you that up a little bit closer. That is copper foil. She's embossed the wreath in copper foil. And isn't that pretty? The background paper is the um, Nature's Poem Designer Series paper. Let's see, I'll get that a little closer so you can kind of see. And there's some gold um, or copper embossing on that as well with Give Thanks. So there's a fun card by Carol Payne. Again, another one using the Seasonal Wreath stamp set. I've got my notes in here. And that's 
um, just embossed in on Whisper White, and we've got some of those fun red rhinestones uh, around there. So there is kind of a close up of that card. Um, there is some gold embossing on that. Merry Christmas, um, along with our red ribbon. As I'm going along, feel free to leave some comments. And if you have any questions about the cards or how they're done, or if I can answer any questions after the broadcast, I'd love to help you out with that. So just leave those comments for me. All right, this next card comes from um, Megan Hurst. And she uses the Animal Expedition Designer Series paper. I'll give you a little close-up of that. Uh, you can see the um, sloth hanging from the tree. The fun part of this card right here is the um, those pearlized doilies. But if you remember, the pearlized doilies in the catalog are white. So she took a spun one of our sponge rollers and sponged the ink onto that doily. So you can change the color of the doily um, any way you like. Oh, and there's this one has kind of a fun a fun opening. So it's um, starts out like this and then you can open it um, like that and see the inside. So that's a fun card by Megan Hurst using the Animal Expedition um, Designer Series paper. This next card is by Winona Semler and it uses the Tropical Chic uh, stamp set along with the letterboard messages and varied vases. So three different stamp sets on this awesome card. Just give you a close up of that. There we go. And that's from Winona Semler. Following on the Tropical Chic um, got all the everybody when you participated in the swaps they're full cards you needed to put your business card inside so that we could con they people could contact you if they had questions about your card this is from Sue Lapaco and it uses the tropical chic um, stamp set and if you can tell here there's some fun silver accents uh, on that as well with this um, with this thank you card. All right, this next card has a fun fold as well, and this is by Fanny Min, and she lives in Austria, so it's really fun that we get to see a card from someone from another country. And this one uses the glossy paper, and she's embossed that um, with the, the leaves, and they're shimmery white, and the, um, it has a fun fold. Let me show you how this opens up. Because I, I was struggling to open it, and then I thought, um, so that's, let's see if I can get it all folded up again. Did I, did you see that? Okay, and then close it, and that's the, um, the really fun, it uses also the uh, Twinkle Twinkle um, Designer Series paper with that. Pamper Yourself theme. Alrighty, the next one comes from Shelly Godby. And this is a fun um, Christmas card that you can start getting ready for the holidays. The Stylist Christmas Stamp Set along with Lovely Lipstick, Shaded Spruce and Pool Party, uh, Metallic Pearls. Uh, and if you look really closely, there's the Tufted uh, dynamic embossing folder there that's really pretty along with the gold foil sheet so that's by uh, Shelly Godby all right another um, another card from someone um, outside of the United States this is Selena Morali this uses the follow your dreams stamp set and the chase your dreams framelits I'll try to get you a little close up just a lot of fun elements on that card as well. Give you a good look at that. All right, this card also, the next card has the Follow Your Dreams theme with it. Um, and it is um, done by Brenda out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So this also uses um, the um, 
follow your dreams stem set and the chase your dreams framelits and that's by barbara meyer I'll give you a little close-up of that as well try to get my fingers out of the way really pretty lots of fun colors in that Alrighty, and as you can probably tell all of these come from the stamp sets used in the annual catalog because that's what we had available at the time so um there are some maybe some stamp sets you haven't seen or some dies that you haven't seen that you're interested in um this one is the layering alphabets dies and i'm sorry this is by brenda from edmonton so uh, this is a new uh new fun dies and they it, that card just opens like such and it also uses the picture perfect um birthday set but take a look at um the hooray and how those were all cut out like that so that's a really really fun card as well the next card we're looking at is um using the rooted in nature and the nature's um root um, framelit dies so there's that if you can tell there's some copper embossing on that tree I'll get that a little closer for you so that's fun and some of that copper um, that copper trim the copper ribbon that's really fun um, and the next cards from tip Pip Todman from the UK uh, a really uh, pretty card using the Subtle's embossing folder, uh, the Rooted in Nature stamp set, and the Nature's Root framelits. So let me get you a little closer. You can see that what's, uh, if you haven't seen that um, Subtle's embossing folder, it, it almost looks like our old um, Stampin' Up's former textured paper, but you just run your um, paper through that Subtle's embossing folder and it just gives you a really um, subtle look on there. So that's the card by Pip Todman from the UK. And there's a new promotion going on using the blended season stamp set and the coordinating framelits. And so the next demonstrator uh, card, she used that and her name is Francine Darion. So we do have quite a fun mixture of cards from people all over the world. There's that one. And the last one uses the um, tropical tropical escape, and this is really a, a an interesting, fun fold. And oh, hopefully, I didn't ruin it trying to get it open, but um, in my haste. So you just um, that is um, hooked on with the brad. So I just move that down, and the fold comes up, and that's the inside of the card so it's a really a fun um, unique unique fold so there you go with that um, so those are the fun uh, cards I received during my swap just give me a sec and I'll get the card um, this is the card that I made for the swap and it also is a fun fold it just opens just like so um, using the Broadway bound suite of products. So that, and that was a really fun card to make with the Broadway bound specialty designer series paper and the die. So that was my fun fold card that I contributed to the swap. So that's a really fun thing is some um, swapping to try to get some different ideas and uh, give everybody different ideas about how to use all of Stampin' Up's really fun products. What's also fun is that anybody who is on the cruise, we're now participating in another swap. So by the end of August, I'll have a whole brand new set of cards to show you using items from the holiday catalog. So that brings us to the holiday catalog, which um, if you're a demonstrator and you can join us at any time, you can pre-order from that holiday catalog today. So let me give you a look at the front of the holiday catalog. Back it up see all the um the awesome things in there i i can show you products from it but i can't show you the inside yet um i'm ordered uh, packages of these so if you're currently a customer of mine you should be receiving yours by the end of august for ordering on september 5th 
So look forward to that. There are some really awesome things inside. So one of the first gifts we received that will be in the new catalog is the Swirls and Curls embossing folder. So that's really fun. We've been trying to play with the, as many as the products as I can. The other is the corrugated embossing folder, corrugated, and I'll, I'll take that out of the package and just, that's what the front is. And so then I'll show you, um, it's one of the um, really thick embossing folders where you, you only use one plate to go through. Um, and I can help you with that if that's something you're interested in. One of the uh, fun new, and this was on my wish list when I saw this, I, um, I just knew I had to have it. So this is one of the things we got as our pillow gift um, was the Dashing Deer um, stamp set. And it has some coordinating framelits, the Detailed Deer Thinlets dies. So those um, will be able to cut out some of the images from the stamp set or... Um, just make some fun deer out of gold or silver or any kind of designer series paper. So that's one of the sets we received. The other was also on my list. This is the photopolymer set, Merry Christmas to All. You can see that being used for a lot of really fun holiday cards. And that has some matching framelits to go with it as well. And all the words are backwards, but it will cut out... Um, the words Christmas, holiday, merry, and happy. So that's something fun, now, along with a, f a couple of frames. So that goes with um, that stamp set right there. Also, you'll notice when that when you'll get to see the catalog are a lot of um, new punches. So the Making a Christmas Bright stamp set was another one we received as a pillow gift. Isn't that awesome? But what the fun part about that is, is it comes with a matching bulb punch. I'll take it out of the package. I know I should be using these, but there's the matching punch that goes with um, that stamp set. So that's something to look forward to come September 5th. Or if you want to become a demonstrator, you could pre-order those right now. Alrighty. And one last really fun item that we received uh, was the, um, this is for Halloween, uh, a bat punch. So it will coordinate with the, there's some designer series paper and a stamp set. We didn't get the stamp set. So that's something that um, you can look forward to as well. And there are some other punches that we, um, that we didn't get. So I'm going to make a, just a real quick run through of the cards that we saw tonight. And if there's something you want to see again, you just let me know and I'll, um, that was mine. A fun fold, the Tropical Chic Designer Series paper. That sentiment comes from the Dandelion Wishes. Another, just run through them real quick as a recap, run through them backward. There we go. Lots of beautiful work by a lot of talented demonstrators, for sure. Um, I was a little bit intimidated, but um, I had a lot of fun with it, and it was fun to see what everybody comes up with as well. The Pamper Yourself with the glossy paper. Cool. Um, I know that the, um, this stamp set, along with its paper, one of, is one of my favorites. Um, anything tropical, got to combine that with the flamingo. There's another one. Kind of going backwards, give you a brief look. And then that's what that's the fun fold with the sloth hanging upside down. What's the inside? Getting ready for the holidays, the seasonal wreath. A few of those we saw today. There you go. And ending with the thank you. And that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for joining me as I show you the swap cards that I received on my um, incentive trip uh, to Alaska. 
so thanks so much to Stampin' Up! and to my team and my customers and friends and relatives and anybody who helped make that trip possible. You can visit me online at kimplayswithpaper.com or on the Facebook page that you're looking at. But I look forward to um, seeing you again next week with another Facebook Live. Thanks. Hello, thanks for joining me at um, KimPlaysWithPaper.com. Happy Friday afternoon. It's 2.30 here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Got some clouds and a little bit of sun and um, just looking forward to an awesome afternoon. What I'm here today to show you is the swap cards that my team made for this month's meeting. Um, you may wonder, well, what is a swap card? A swap card is where you make um, a certain number of the same card. So let's say you make 20, you have 10 people participating in your swap. So you make 10 cards of the same card and then you exchange them with other people to get great ideas about um, just how, what you can make for your next card. So for our team meeting this month, the theme was use products from Stampin' Up's um, new catalog to create your swap card. And we had, I have some awesome team members and some awesome stampers, so um, I'm going to share those cards with you today. And then I'll talk a little bit at the end about um, what it means to be on a team or to be a part of Stampin' Up and how awesome that can really be. And I also wanted to say, if you, this is an odd time of the afternoon for me to be on. It's just uh, the time that worked out best um, in the busy week, but you can always watch this live on my uh, Facebook page, kimplayswithpaper.com after the broadcast. So the first card I have to show you today is from Kathy Bloom. I'm sorry. <laughs> from Ter this is from Teresa. Teresa lives in Colorado, and so she just sent her swaps to me. This card uses the uh, Rooted in Nature um, stamp set and bundle. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for joining me. Awesome that you were able to be here today. Uh, the other fun thing is the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. You can see um, the dimension in that Blackberry Bliss um, cardstock there. So that's uh, our first card using the Rooted in Nature bundle with Stampin' Up! So that was from Teresa. All right, moving on. This card is done by Nikki. Can you, um, sending birthday wishes for this card. She used the Postcard Pals stamp set and she colored that fun little guy in with her Stampin' Blends. Also used a nice amount of our new ink colors including Blueberry Bushel and Pineapple Punch. So this is a fun card um, by Nikki. It's a birthday card. Oh, hi Donna from Colorado. You're also from Colorado. And um, our first swap card uh, was from Teresa who lives in Aurora. So that was fun. Alrighty, the next card. This is a fun, um, it has a fun fold in it. This is from uh, Lynn. And she used the Around the Corner stamp set. I'm going to cover up my face because you don't need to see my face the whole time. Um, but maybe I can get a little closer for you. But celebrate every tiny victory. The fun part of this card is that it is, like I said, it has that fun fold. Um, and this set has been on my list, so I was glad that she used it. Celebrate every tiny victory. And she also used um, some of our fun um, new in colors, the blueberry bushel. And that comes from the in color designer series paper. All right. Oh, Colorado Springs. We love Colorado Springs. I'm hoping that my nephew will move there pretty soon um, so we can go visit him. I also have a sister who lives 
in Durango. So um, the next card is from Patty. Patty lives here in Lincoln, and she's using the Share What You Do, um, Share What You Love stamp set. Um, and of one of the things on this card that I really like, I love doilies, and she used one of those here, and she also used the uh, powder pink marker and the wink of Stella. So there's a fun card by Patty, and it also has a fun. Um, it has our sentiment inside. So there's a, a from Patty. I also am going to be putting these cards on my Facebook page and my blog, with, which is kimplayswithpaper.com, over the next couple of weeks. So be looking for those samples there, and they'll have um, product lists so that you can see some of the materials that they used uh, to make those cards. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments, and I'll get back to you after the broadcast if there's er, any card you want to see specifically or special or ask questions about. This next card is completed by Angela, and she lives in um, about an hour away from Lincoln, Nebraska in Pawnee City. So she used the lovely floral embossing folder along with the stitched all around bundle. I just, what I really like about this card is the simplicity, the, the lovely lipstick and the white, it just really, it just really stands out. You can see that fun polka dot ribbon as well. So that's a fun card from Angela. This next card is done by Kathy, and it also uses um, the Share What You Love, uh, the fun, um, hi Cindy, how are you today? All the way from Texas. So let's see, so yes, the Share What You Love specialty designer series paper and the stamp set. Um, what's really fun, if you'll notice uh, I'm over here, the ribbon. That ribbon is, she colored that with a marker. So that's what's really cool about that a gold ribbon is that you can take a marker. Um, hi, Billy. Wow. Um, so this is a card done by Kathy. She's on my team. This was actually her very first swap card. So I was glad that she took the leap and um, tried to join our swap, and she did. So that's an awesome card. The next card is from Shelly McVeigh, and she used the Peaceful Reflection stamp set, along with a little bit of Wink of Stella and some, no, that Kathy, brought, um, Kathy Harper here in Lincoln, Nebraska made that last card. Um, this card, Shelly McVeigh, she is also here in Lincoln, Nebraska. I have a, a good, a fair amount of people who live here in Lincoln, and then I have some people who also live um, in, uh, in different states. They also participated, and you'll see those cards coming up. So um, there you go, the card with Shelly using the Peaceful Reflections stamp set. This one is really pretty as well. Don Seelhoff used the Serene Garden Bundle to put this card together. She's using the lovely lipstick, the Blueberry Bushel Grapefruit Grove, um, as well as the Designer Series Paper. So that's, um, that's done by Don. Again, I'll, um, if you have any questions, I can let you know after the broadcast about what was used in some of our, um, our swaps today. This card was created by Kelly, and that uses the Abstract Impression stamp set. Again, that um, Pinewood Planks embossing folder with the Layering Squares frame, framelit and the Stitch Shapes framelit. Uh, just really bright. Again, another one of our in colors, the lovely lipstick along with the Pear Pizzazz. Nice thank you card um, by Kelly. It's fun. 
All right, this next card cap comes from another Kathy. This is the my Kathy in Tennessee. And she used the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set for this card, along with some of the 2018-2020 in color um, 6x6 designer series paper. Hi, Jenna. Thanks for popping in this Friday afternoon. I hope all is well with all of you. So this is just a fun combination of colors uh, for the birthday card with the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set done by Kathy in Tennessee. Uh, this is the swap card um, I made for the swap. This, is, this uses the animal outing. And what I really, really love are the, um, that leaf ribbon. Isn't that fun? Just, um, and I'm having a little trouble figure, figuring out where my camera is, but I, you can see the card really well, I hope. So that was my contribution to the swap. And then this last card I have to share um, is we made a 12 of the cards for the swap. So everybody had to make 12 of these. And Beth made this awesome baby card. It's one of those box cards that folds up and so it can go into an envelope. And then when you pop it open, it has um, all kinds of little fun um, pieces. I'll kind of turn it around. She, there is not a, um, sorry, this, I'm not real. I'm using my husband's iPad today because I figured out how to um, turn the camera around so you could actually see everything in the right, with the words turned um, so you can read them. So she actually cut all of these pieces by hand for this. Um, she said that she loves to fussy cut. Um, so that's um, a really fun box uh, birthday card made by our team member Beth. Um, so maybe I'll run through them real quick one more time if you came, um, came in behind. Uh, that was our Rooted in Nature. Postcard Pals. Around the Corner. Remember the fun fold. Share What You Love. Some stitch shapes. Share what you love. Peaceful reflections. Serene garden. That was by Kelly. I've got all the little notes here. And um, happy birthday, gorgeous. And then animal outing. Um, and when we talk about teams, I just kind of wanted to give you a quick update. Hello from Wisconsin, thanks for joining me. Sorry, I've just finished all the cards. I'll, I'll, I will reshow the baby card. We talk about, when you, you may be wondering what I'm talking about with my team. Well, I have people on my team and with Stampin' Up! And if you've ever, ever been curious about joining a team or wondering what that's all about or Stampin' Up! This is the very perfect time to do that because Stampin' Up is offering an awesome special for when you buy the starter kit for $99, you choose $125 worth of any product, any product in the catalog. And it's all shipped free, so that's an extra value. On top of that, until through July 31st, Stampin' Up! is offering you a set of free stamp pads. So it's this 10 stamp pads, it's a set of brights, regals, subtles, uh, or neutrals and even for this special we have bundled the two in colors so there's 10 stamp ads um, and that's only for this special and so that's a seven up to a $75 value if you were interested in seeing what Stampin' Up! is all about and um, feeding your hobby and getting a 20% discount while doing that so if you have any questions pop me um, pop me a note but I hope you enjoyed my quick Facebook live with the swap cards from my team and I thank you all for popping in and you can watch the replay later. Thank you. Hello Kim's Paper Crafters. Thanks for joining me today on this beautiful Thursday 
July 5th. I hope you all had an awesome and safe 4th of July. It was a really beautiful day here in Lincoln, Nebraska, so we took full advantage of that. And now I am here today with you with a really fun uh, sh shaker card. Can you see the little shakes? in there. I'm using Stampin' Up's Sea of Textures stamp set along with the Under the Sea Framelits dies. They can be found on page 155 of Stampin' Up's annual catalog which has been um, live now for about a month so I hope you've had a chance to browse the catalog and get some fun new products. So if you haven't gotten a catalog and you need one, please leave a comment in the messages and I will definitely send you a catalog. Thanks, Andrea, for joining me. Thanks for popping on. Um, what I should mention is we're going to be using the um, Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up. And the wonderful part about the paper, it's part of Stampin' Up's Buy Three, Get One Free this month. So there are lots of fun papers that are included in that um, promotion. The Nature's Poem, Twinkle Twinkle, Under the Mistletoe, Animal Expedition, Best Route, Predal Promenade, The Tranquil Textures, Garden Impressions, Tropical Escape, and The Wood Textures. So... Think about that through the end of July. It's buy three designer series paper, get one free. That's an awesome deal. And hi, Angela, thanks for joining me today for um, our fun shaker card uh, video. So I'll tell you what we'll be using today. We'll be starting with the Balmy Blue um, cardstock cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. We'll be using this fun little um, bubbles piece from the Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper. And we have Avenel from Indiana. Thanks for joining me. We'll also be using a piece of the Tranquil Tide, just a scrap of that, a scrap of Whisper White, a round circle with Whisper White using, I cut that using the two and a half inch circle framelits dies. And just to save some time today, I've already cut, stamped our octopus in Night of Navy and cut that out with the dies. And I've also cut a piece of um, fresh fig and made that some coral. So we'll be using that in our card as well. I am going to now um, flip you down to the work surface so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I promise I will get back to you with your comments and questions uh, after the video. So I'm going to do the stamping first. So we we'll start with our, uh, our circle and some Tranquil Tide ink. I already have the piece of seaweed mounted on a clear block. So I'm just going to ink, ink that up and put some, I'm just going to make some seaweed. I'm going to stamp, stamp off, stamp. It, and you know what? It's just seaweed, so it doesn't matter. It can be any kind of seaweed. It could be as much seaweed as you want or as little seaweed as you want. So my seaweed is all ready to go. And then I'm going to take the sentiment, uh, you're one of a kind, and stamp it onto just our scrap piece of paper. I'm going to, yep, oh, that looks awesome. So we'll stamp that there. So our stamping is all ready to go. Very little stamping in this card, but some, some assembly required. So we'll set those two aside until we're, we're ready to play. I'm going to use my uh, Bubbles Designer Series paper along with my two inch circle punch. Um, coming in on the right side, I'm going to push the punch in all the way, looking at both of my sides to be sure they're fairly even, and I'm just gonna give it a good punch. Take your circle and save that for um, another project for later. I'm gonna flip that over, and then we're going to start working on putting the shaker together. I have a three by three inch piece of um, window sheets that we're going to adhere to the um, 
to the cardstock. And this is using Stampin' Up's tear and tape. So I, um, when I did this for class, I had these pieces all taped up ahead of time so that the class participants didn't have to take time to do that. And I could have done that today, um, but I did not. So here we are. This is just, you can see how quick the, um, that tear and tape adhesive goes on. And I'm just going to make sure there aren't any holes because we don't want any of our sprinkles to pop out when we're, um, when we're shaking the card. So we'll just tear those little pieces off. Tear and tape is really an awesome, one of Stampin' Up's awesome adhesives, especially if you have some tough jobs, you need everything to be uh, sec very secured. Um, and I don't have very big fingernails, so that's not helping a lot. I'm just going to position my three by three inch window sheet right on top there. Then I'm going to use Stampin' Up's foam adhesive sheets and just grabbing one of those strips off there. They're sticky on both sides. So I'm going to fix the foam adhesive strip in a, just around my circle. I'm making a well for um, my shaker so that I'll be able to put my sprinkles in there. And then I'm going to clip that off exactly where I need it. And um, we're set there. Then, these are awesome. Have you seen these in the catalog? They're the Tranquil Textures Sprinkles. So you can put as many or as few sprinkles in there as you want. I don't think you can go wrong with the sprinkles. And I think what's so awesome about the sprinkles is that oftentimes the shaker cards, the sequins, or whatever you have in there, get stuck around the edges. But that is not so with, uh, with those fun sprinkles. And then we're almost ready to put that um, the cover on, as I call it. I'm going to put some glue dots on my coral. I'm making a little scene here, so I've got the coral on the circle. I'm going to take the adhesive off the top, just pull that off, and flip this upside down, put it right on the top. And we've, we've made the sprinkles, the shaker part of that card. Isn't that cute? I'll bring in our balmy blue base, fold that in half where I've scored it. And then I'm going to use stamp up the, those adhe foam adhesive strips one more time. I'm going to use those as my dimensional. So I'm going to just take strips and um, put them in strategic places on the card. The reason I'm not using the dimensionals for this piece is because they might, I'm not sure they're as um, thick as the foam adhesive strips. And we don't, I think I've said in videos before, I just, we can't have any sagging going on in our cards. So I want to make sure that we have enough uh, adhesive. And I'm going to grab a little piece of one more um, and what you don't use, you can you can use again. So I'm going to stick one right even right here, right next to the um, to our shaker. And we need one little piece over here. And too much, too much. Trip it off. Take our take our adhesive off. I know shaker cards are really fun, and sometimes they this may seem a little bit intimidating, but actually they go together very nicely when you have all the steps down. If you have any questions, if I went too fast, please put them in the comments, and I'll go back and answer those questions for you. I hope everyone's having an awesome day, and that you enjoyed the holiday yesterday. Back to work today. I'm going to just put our um, shaker onto our balmy blue card base. And that's what we've got going just so far. 
All right, the next thing that, um, that I want to do is if you'll notice in my card sample, I have a little, just a little rim that maybe looks like a, oh, uh, like a window on a ship or something like that. So let's create that. I'm using Stampin' Up's two inch circle punch with the Tranquil Tide Designer Series paper. So I'm just, I'm going to punch with a two inch, uh, pop that circle out and toss it away and use it later. Then I'll bring in the two and a quarter inch circle punch and shape my circle around um, the hole and just give that a quick punch. And I've made a, a quick little frame. And I'm going to apply uh, just a little bit of Tombow around the window, just a little bit. Um, goes a long way with this. You want to make sure that the bottle doesn't squirt out big globs of glue when you're trying to get your project all done. And then I'm going to just place my the circle I just created. Ah, porthole. A porthole window. That's the word I was looking for. Alrighty. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is put my Your One of a Kind sentiment. I'm using Stampin' Up's classic uh, label punch for that. And when it's just... Um, you could probably use a sticky note there, but I think I can do it. It's your one of a kind. That comes, one of the sayings that comes with the set. Going to grab Stampin' Up's glue dots. The glue dots work really well when you press the paper to the dot and pull it off. And then I'm just going to set my sentiment there. And now we have this fun octopus ready to go on to the card, uh, Stampin' Up's mini dimensionals are awesome for that. You can see how the little teeny ones. And I'm just going to put, scatter a few of those all over the octopus. And if you um, just tuned in, I had stamped that octopus already from the set um, with Night of Navy ink onto the uh, Whisper White cardstock and die cut it with the... Um, with the framelit, so he was all ready to go, so we didn't have to um, do that on camera today. So I'm just putting, again, we don't want anything to sag, so I'm putting a whole bunch of Stampin' Dimensionals on our octopus, and I'm just going to pop him up kind of off to the side, and there we go. We have made uh, a shaker card with some of uh, Stampin' Up's fun new products with the Sea of Textures stamp set and the Under the Sea Framelits dies. Again, the one of the features of this card is the Tranquil Textures Designer Series paper. It's one that's offered on Stampin' Up's Buy 3 Designer Series paper, uh, Get One Free, and more details can be found on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com. There's a list of all the ingredients I used for this card. I do appreciate you watching today. I, I'm going to be on probably next Wednesday and I will have a whole bunch of swap cards from our team meeting to show you that use products that can be found in the annual catalog. So thanks again for joining me and we will see you next week. Hello everyone, sorry I'm a few minutes late, but this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com coming to you live from Lincoln, Nebraska, where I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I am going to show you how to make a very clean and simple card. I love this card because it's easy for beginners to be able to reproduce the card and it's also awesome for those advanced stampers who need to make a lot of cards at one time. In fact, I just used this card for a class the other night with four brand new stampers and it was a real hit with them. So this is the card, an awesome thank you card. It uses Stampin' Up's Daisy Delight stamp set along with its coordinating um, daisy punch. The other fun feature of this card 
is Stampin' Up's 6x6 uh, Designer Series paper. It's the 2018-2020 in colors. Uh, in those in colors we have um, the lovely blueberry bushel, which we'll be using tonight. We have a grapefruit grove. A pineapple punch. Pretty, pretty. We'll be using that color as well tonight. Uh, we have a lovely lipstick. And one more. So call me Clover. Um, I see that Angela is watching tonight. Thanks so much, Angela, for joining me as we make this fun, simple, easy card. I'm going to switch the camera down so you can see me working, so I may not be able to um, see all of your comments, but I will respond to them later. So just let me take you down to the card table here. And so you can see me work. So, alrighty. So the first thing we're going to use, put the card aside, is we have a piece of Whisper White card stock. And that is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and one quarter. Um, it's scored, so I'm just going to be able to fold that in half and give it a good crease. I also have a piece of our... Hello, Dawn. Good to see you. This is a piece of the Blueberry Bushel 6x6 Designer Series piece that's cut at 5 and a quarter by 4 that I'm going to use um, Stampin' Up! Snail and apply Snail to the back of that designer series paper. What's really awesome about Stampin' Up!'s designer series paper is that it has two sides. So you can choose which side you're going to use. And tonight I just thought that this um, dotted piece really serves itself well for that. And what's really awesome about all of Stampin' Up!'s products is, and you'll see that in this this card is that the paper matches the ink and matches the ribbon and if we were going to be using markers or anything else all of that matches as well so we're going to put that aside and we'll begin to work with a piece of uh, this, um, whisper white cardstock cut at five by three and three quarters we'll use Stampin' Up's Daisy Punch and what I do is I just slip the, that piece of cardstock that's at three and three quarters by five. I push it all the way in and I look um, on either side and I, is it even on both sides? Yipper. So I'm just going to give it a quick punch and pull that gently out of there and you have the daisy. Ah, be sure to save that daisy because it can be used as um, an embellishment on your envelope or you can put um, two of them together with a glue dot in the middle and make your own um, other daisy with that. So be sure to save that extra piece. All right, let's do just a teeny bit of stamping then. This is our blueberry bushel um, stamp pad. Remember Stampin' Up's stamp pads are really fresh and so you don't have to press very hard. A simple tap, tap, tap will do with that. Um, so I've got that all inked up and I'm going to eye it up and put my thank you somewhere down here at the bottom and give it a count of mm, one, two, three, four, five, just to let that um, ink sink into the paper. Pull it up gently and voila, we have our thank you all ready to go. I will fold that up so that it stays fresh. Set that aside. All right, then let's take our um, blueberry bushel 1 8 inch grow grain ribbon and this is what I'm going to use um, to create a faux bow, a fake bow. Um, those are the one kinds of bows that I am 
really good at. So what I'm going to do is take a glue dot and put it on each end of my ribbon, one piece. That ribbon piece, let's measure that for you, that piece is cut at oh about six inches long so that it will wrap around your paper. So I will take my ribbon and just fold the um, the ribbon around back, affixing the glue dots onto the other side so that they um, stay firm, making sure that that's straight and even. Then I take this other smaller piece of ribbon, it's probably five inches or so. Then what I do is just tuck that little piece of ribbon underneath the one that's affixed and then tie, um, just tie a knot. Make it, um, make it tight, and then you can use one of these paper snips to trim that if you like, or you could leave it. I'll just give it a little bit of a, of a haircut here. Okay. Alrighty. Now we are ready to put the our panel on top of our card base. So I'm going to use um, all a bunch of these stamp and dimensionals. And during class, I always tell people, be sure to be generous with the dimensionals. They're really an affordable crafting item. Um, remember that they're double-sided. So you peel them off the paper, off of their pad, put them onto the paper, and peel the top off. Now, I have to say, I want to be generous because I don't want any sagging. I always tell them no sagging allowed in class. So I be sure to be generous with those um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Quite a few put on there. And then I am going to slide in my card base and affix the top right on there, trying as best I can to get it in the middle. And as you can tell, we're not quite done yet. I have one more step. I'm going to bring in the Blueberry Bushel Designer Series. Um, it's just, it's not Designer Series paper. It's Blueberry Bushel cardstock, along with the Blueberry Bushel. No, it's not Blueberry Bushel either. <laughs> it's Pineapple Punch. Pineapple Punch cardstock. Pineapple Punch ink. And there's a little center for our daisy. And I'm going to just tap, tap, tap that in the Pineapple Punch ink and stamp it onto my Pineapple Punch um, cardstock. From there, I'm going to use Stampin' Up's one half inch circle punch and just pop that out. Just pop it out just like that. So I have um, a half inch circle that kind of looks like the middle of a flower. I will put a glue dot on that. The best way to use a glue dot is to put your paper directly to the glue dot and then it then it, it just pops right up. Then I will just pop that daisy center into, uh, into the flower. And there you can see we have made a very clean and simple but fun a greeting card using Stampin' Up's Daisy Delight stamp set and its coordinating punch. So that was a really quick, fun, um, easy video for you tonight. I see um, Andrea Jewett. Hello. It's been about a year since I saw you in Minneapolis. And Anne from Massachusetts. Good to have you on. Thank you all for joining me. If you have any tutorials you would like to see me do, just make those comments in the comments and I will work on another Facebook Live video to bring you um, in the coming week. You can find me online at several places at www.kimplayswithpaper.com, kimquady.stampinup.net, and um, right here on my Facebook page. So if you have any questions, give me a holler. But thank you all for joining me as we made this um, fun thank you note. Thanks. Yeah. Hello, um, my name is Kim Quady. 
I am with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator with Stampin' Up! located out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Earlier today on my blog, KimPlaysWithPaper.com, I posted a picture of this fun card, but I tried really hard to explain it in a text, in, in writing how to make this card. And I thought, hey, what's better way than to show you how to make this card? And it uses Stampin' Up's brand new product called the Stamparatus. It's our brand new stamp positioning tool that's available in the new catalog for $49. And what makes this Stamparatus so awesome is because it's really conducive to two-step and three-step and four-step stamping. Um, the hinges allow you to remove the plates that you don't need and do switch them around. So today the technique I'm going to show you with this card is called hinge step stamping. I am using the um, stamp set uh, Perennial Birthday. Um, and um, it's really nice when you're stamping to stick the, uh, the case underneath there. Um, this, the pad is a 7x7 seven seven workspace with grids on it. Uh, this black pad is for when you're stamping with a photopolymer stamp and you just remove that when you're using the red rubber uh, clear mount stamp. The Stamparatus comes with two very strong magnets that are stored underneath. Um, if they connect, they might um, snap together and break and maybe catch your finger in there. So a lot of people have wrapped washi tape around them, but my technique is I only use one of the magnets at a time. So I'm going to take my cardstock, which I've cut at five and a quarter by four, and stick it in the quarter of, corner of my Stamparatus and just adhere the sheet with with my magnet. And today I'm using Stampin' Up's new in colors of Pineapple Punch, Blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, and Call Me Clover. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my stamp on the paper, positioning it where I am going to want it um, to appear on the page. And then I just simply close the lid and that picks up my stamp and I am ready to stamp. These new stamp pads are awesome. It's You open them just like a compact, push it in and you're ready to go. So I just will apply some ink to my stamp. It works really well if you have the small stamp and spots that come with the paper pumpkin. Um, I didn't have those in the in color so I'm just using those, um, using the big, the big ones today. So to stamp you simply close the lid Put some pressure where your um, where your stamp and your ink is open, and and you've stamped. Say that you want that a little bit darker. It's really awesome. All you need to do is apply a little bit more ink. Close the pad, the lid, and apply a little bit more pressure. Now here's where the fun comes in. I'm going to do the hinge step stamping, but first I'm going to clean uh, my stamp with Stampin' Up's new Stampin' Chamois. And yes. I cut this chamois in four pieces uh, so that they would be better able to handle while I have my Stamparatus out. It's an $8 investment. You just get this wet and it cleans your stamps like a breeze. So think about that. So then I'm going to pick up the hinge. I'm going to move it down one step. And I'm going to use my blueberry bushel ink. Apply my ink to my stamp. Just tap, tap, tap. The stamp pads are really fresh. I'm going to close the hinge, apply some pressure. Voila! I've just stamped the blueberry bushel. I am going to clean my stamp with my chamois. I'm going to pick up my um, plate and move it down one notch. I'm going to open the lovely lipstick, apply, just gently apply the ink to the stamp, close that, apply some pressure, 
clean it off with the Stampin' Chamois. And then we're ready for the next color. So I'm going to take the plate, gently pull it out of the hinges, bring it down, apply the Grapefruit Grow, just gently. And you can see how nicely it's stamping all of those colors in a nice row, all equally spaced out. And I don't have to worry about uh, where it's going to stamp or how it's going to stamp because it's it's positioned and it's held down. So I'm just going to take my magnet and move it up a little bit so I will be able to apply the last color. So I'm going to clean off my stamp. Um, I'm going to pick up my plate, move it down one hinge, and then I will apply the Call Me Clover. And then I close the plate give it some gentle pressure, open it back up, and there you have um, a card front all ready to be put onto a card base. So that's the hinge step stamping with Stampin' Up's new Stamparatus. Then the last step I would take would be to um, choose one of the awesome grow grain in colors. So you have the Grapefruit Grove, the Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover, Lovely Lipstick, and Pineapple Punch. So you'll just choose your color of ribbon um, to tie around your base and then apply to um, make a very clean and simple card. So thank you for watching today and so I could introduce Hinge Stamp Stamping with Stampin' Up! Stamparatus. You can visit me online at www.kimplayswithpaper.com. You're visiting my Facebook page. You could click now to shop and just shoot me any questions. Let me know what you think of my clean and simple project. Thanks for stopping by today. Good morning, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com coming to you live from Lincoln, Nebraska. Happy Friday, happy March 1st. Although like most of you in the United States, you might not know that it's March 1st with all the snow and the cold that we have going on. A um, Couple weeks ago, I was in Michigan at a Stampin' Up! Leaders Retreat and we had a 3D swap, 3D items meaning um, something other than cards that you can put treats or candy in. And I participated in that swap and I brought home all kinds of really awesome ideas and I will show you all of those ideas that I got at the end of the video today. But I wanted to show you what I made for that swap. Um, I made this uh, cute little sticky notepad holder. Uh, it opens like this and um, then closes with just a little bit of Velcro and it says um, enjoy today. And um, yes, it's a little bit backward, but hey, today we're probably going to go shopping for iPhones to see if I can find something that will allow me to show you everything um, forward so you'll be able to read everything really well. Um, so, but thanks um, for joining me today and or watching the replay. It will be available on my um, Facebook page, Kim Quady, Kim Quady, Q-U-A-D-E, plays with paper or check my blog at www.kimplayswithpaper.com. So how I, uh, what I used for my sticky note was, um, I love this stamp set called Eastern Beauty. It is in Stampin' Up's annual catalog and it's been there for, uh, for a little over a year and a half, but what I really like about it is that a couple of the sayings, the hello, the thank you, the enjoy today, they fit really well in this uh, one inch circle punch, so it makes it really easy to put on the front of something like this 
fun sticky notepad holder. What I also like to do is take these, uh, package them with a Ghirardelli chocolate, put them in a small cello bag, and um, put my information on the back. And I take them to my networking meetings and give them out as my business cards. So it shows people some really fun things that you can do with just rubber stamps, ink, and paper. So let me show you. I'm going to take you um, down to the work surface, down to my stamp and trimmer, so I can show you um, how I put this together. And then I'll show you some other fun uh, 3D items that I received that day. So we'll start out with a piece of how sweet it is a designer series paper and it's cut at two inches by six inches. Um, you could use either side but I thought that this side was really festive and fun and springy like we're all hoping for spring right now. So again that's a two by six. How sweet it is designer series paper from Stampin' Up's Occasions catalog. Um, then uh, to do my scoring, I'm going to use Stampin' Up! Stampin' Trimmer. And what I really, really love about the trimmer is that both my cutting tool and my scoring tool are on the same plane. And I don't have to take one blade out in order to use the trimmer or the scorer. So I'm going to start by scoring my designer series paper. Remember that's cut at two by six. Here's my scoring. I'm left-handed, so that kind of makes it a, a little different as well. But I'm going to score it at three quarters, two inches. And I can give you these measurements. Uh, be sure to let me know if you want me to put them in the comments. So three quarters, two inches, two and a quarter inches, three inches, three and three quarter inches, four inches, and five. So I have, um, I have my sheet all scored and I'll fold it just so you can kind of see uh, where that's, where that's, uh, where that's going to go. Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit of adhesive, some snail, some Stampin' Up! Snail, and adhere it here and um, to kind of make the flaps and adhere it here. Then um, for the sticky notes, I from one of the big box stores, I have the little sticky notes. Hi. Angela, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me today. Just showing you um, how I'm going to make a cute sticky notepad. Uh, so these are 12, 12 pads, 100 sheets per pad. They're a, a, they measure 1 and 3 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. And they're kind of thick. So I well, I get more bang for my buck. I, take, I can take the pads and just... I um, tear it in half so then I can use um, I get two pads two sticky note pad treats out of one I was just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the sticky note and just place it right in the middle here and then um, see how quick and easy that is to um, to just cover that with a two by six inch piece of designer series paper of any any kind you'd like of that. Um, oh my goodness! Of course, the phone would ring while I'm um, while I'm doing a Facebook live, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if they leave a message. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'll give that a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so the other, the, the way that I'm going to keep that closed is I'm using some 3 8 inch Velcro dots that I got at a 
big box store and you get 56 in one package so um, I will close my pad I will stick one of the dots here then I'll put its coordinating its coordinating dot on here then close it up and I have it sealed and all ready, all ready to decorate. Like I told at, at the beginning, I'm going to be using the Eastern Beauty stamp set, and I've picked the Enjoy today off of there. Hi, Joy. Thanks for joining me again today. Uh, we are in the middle of making this cute little sticky notepad holder. Um, I've used a 2 by 6 inch piece of designer series paper. So we've got that all ready to go. I'm going to stamp the sentiment using uh, Gorgeous Grape. I love Gorgeous Grape. It's one of our new colors. This is our new pad. Um, I'm going to just ink, ink my pad. Press evenly and firmly on a piece of Whisper White scrap paper. Then I'm going to take my one inch circle punch and I know this is not Stampin' Up's one inch circle punch. It is missing in action today. I can't find it. And I don't dare, uh, I don't dare tell my husband uh, that I can't find it because he has volunteered to clean my craft room for me and I don't think that's a very good idea. So I'm going to have to go in search of of that so that uh, he doesn't know that we certainly don't want him in there organizing things for me. Then I'm going to use Stampin' Up's 1 and 1 8 scallop circle and I'm going to just clip a piece of granny apple green and then I'm going to use the 1 and 3 8 scallop circle for a piece of gorgeous grape. using some of Stampin' Up's awesome glue dots. I don't know how we ever lived without glue dots. I'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the back of that uh, one inch circle, adhere them to the uh, granny apple green, and then I'm going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals, put one on the back of the granny apple green, and put it on top of our gorgeous our gorgeous grape scallop from here I will use a few more glue dots on on the back of the, the little sentiment that I've assembled and then I'm just going to put it right on the top of that and I have created a really quick easy simple gift that can be you know, um, Easter baskets, teacher treats, co-worker treats. It's a little early for stocking stuffers, but um, just as something really, I uh, put it, stick it in your purse to show people what you have going. Um, so that's uh, the, the 3D item that I brought to Michigan a couple of weeks ago for the leaders retreat. I have to tell you, man, if I, if I thought it was, uh, it was a pretty scary plane ride. We went from Chicago to Lansing, and the pilot tried to land three different times. You know, you'd put the landing gear down, and we think we're going to land, but it was so cloudy, we didn't see land anywhere. And then all of a sudden, the nose goes up, and the pilot comes on and says, Sorry, folks, we just got hit by a 60-mile-an-hour wind, and we got blown off course for landing. And so we'll try it again. So we did that twice, as all the while the plane is jiggling, and you can hear the everything rattle. So it was a little nerve-wracking, but it was fun to get home with all of my really fun um, ideas. So that's what I was going to show you, some of the super fun ideas that I received in exchange for my notepad. Um, somebody exchanged the, um, these are Stampin' Up! Sweet Treat Cups. You get 10 of them for $8.50. And you can see here that the person um, 
and I don't have a name on this. It was filled with popcorn, but as you can see, it's it's empty. Now, actually, the name is right inside. Laura Mellinger made this sweet little sweet cup using the Sweet Treats Designer Series paper and the coordinating products. So I, um, I'm kind of hooked on these now. Maybe last week you saw the treat packet that I did with the dog, um, putting the dog treats in it. That was fun as well. Um, another really super cute uh, 3D item was this little um, like a fishing basket. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Um, it's it's um, it's your day, and it's perfect for any man or if a fisherman in your life. There's a little fly fish, um, just all kinds of fun little elements using. Um, that's the basket weave, basket weave box. So that's super cute. Look at the little detail on the front with um, the tackle box. Put that aside. This was right around Valentine's Day. So this was another one of the treats. Stinking sweets. You put some taffy in there. I can't believe I didn't get into that. And that is was created by Lori Hyling. Um, again, with another Valentine using Stampin' Up's pizza boxes. And at the end of this video, I'll actually show you some items that Stampin' Up has added to its third release celebration. And the, po the pizza boxes are one of those things that you can earn free with a $50 order during celebration. But this is a fun Valentine-themed uh, pizza box. This one wasn't actually in my swaps, but I thought I wanted to share it with you anyway. Uh, my friend Karen Page made this for my birthday in January, and there was a cookie inside, and of course that's long gone. But just another really cute idea that you can use with um, using Stampin' Up's pizza boxes. She made a window with the window sheets for that. As another fun item that we have for treat packets is the Stampin' Up! 2x2 clear boxes. And inside of that is a, this was made by Sherry George. And inside is, let's look, but I know I'm, it's a, it's a K-cup. So the K-cups fit really nicely in here. And so she's decorated the K-cup uh, and with the outside with those awesome heart die cuts. But fun way to decorate and uh, put Stampin' Up! Sweet Treats in there. This should be something fun for Easter. A cute little um, kind of bunny ears um, with the chocolate in it for you using the Needlepoint uh, Designer Series paper. That's super cute. This one is made by uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Hampshire. Uh, and inside, open up that little ribbon. Everything is so cute. Uh, there's a lip balm. So cute little cute little lip balm holder. You have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud. So that's what the inside of that looks like. Another really super fun treat packet that I got was a fun Tombow glue holder. And oh, I don't have a name on that one, but that is super cute as well. It just holds your, holds your, your green glue. Lots of holders for lots of different things, and it doesn't always have to be candy products. Uh, as you can tell, we've had some, some different things. This one holds um, antibacterial gel, so there's a fun little treat using uh, Grapefruit Grove and um, a wood element. Hi there, Grapefruit Grove Gingham Designer Series paper, which is now back on in stock, and it's been ever so popular so that's really fun that some of that white flax ribbon as well 
This one uh, also has cha. This one has chocolate in it. And I looked at it today. I was like, I can't believe I haven't eaten the chocolate out of there yet. Uh, people like you make the world a better place. And that is made with the um, with Stampin' Up! Scallop Tag Topper Punch. And a lot of little different flower embellishments. And this designer series paper is from the Botanical butterfly and you can earn that free during celebration with a $50 order. I used that designer series paper in last week's project using when I did the sweet treat cup with the uh, with the dog on front but um, so there's butterflies and remember celebration goes through March 31st so if there's something you um, are looking to earn go ahead and grab that with a $50 order. Uh, this is a really fun other little tree packet. It's your day with a little butterfly. And inside are um, some Tic Tacs. And I think if you untie the, the um, white baker's twine, we have some smoky slate ribbon with that. And that just pulls that, that just pulls out and holds your little mini Tic Tacs. And how cool is that? It's just a piece of smoky slate design, um, smoky slate or basic gray paper and just designed however, however you like. Then um, here is one more. It's sweet treats for you made with um, the All My Love designer series paper. Uh, I think, oh look, <laughs> and there's more chocolate inside of that as well, so it just does sweet little, um, sweet little treat packet here. So those were some of the 3D items that I received in exchange for my um, sticky notepad holders at that leadership event in Lansing. Just wanted to do a quick recap um, of what's going on in the Stampin' Up! world today. Uh, we are entering our third, um, our third week, third month of celebration. That's where you earn a free item with any $50 or $100 purchase. Uh, there's everything from designer series paper to exclusive stamp sets to if embossing folders and all kinds of really awesome things. But today Stampin' Up! released yet a third list of items that you can earn free with a $50 order. And one of those is the Painted Seasons uh, Designer Series Paper. Um, you can get that with a $50 order. In February, it was bundled with the Painted Seasons stamp set, but now you can get just the Designer Series paper uh, with that. And that's um, a really beautiful paper as well. Another uh, offering is the Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon, and you may get two packages of that with a $50 order. The Share What You Love embellishment kit is also available free with a $50 order starting today. As well as the um, Scattered Sequins embossing folder, Dynamic Textured Embossing Folders. That is free with a $50 order this month. Uh, like I said, the pizza boxes are also free with a $50 order. So if you wanted to make some fun, some fun treat holders using those, these were the ideas that I showed, showed with those. The Stampin' Up's uh, Pearlized Doilies are also included in that promotion, and you would get two of those packages. And you would also, the Petal, Prom Petal Promenade Designer Series paper is also available. So thanks for joining me today on uh, my Facebook Live on this Friday in, first Friday in March, where I showed you how to make this fun little sticky notepad holder. And if, um, 
I will put the measurements in the comments below if you need um, if you'd like to make these at home with a two by six piece of designer series paper so have a great weekend stay warm and happy crafting and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about stamping up and paper crafting and cards and 3d projects thank you